Welcome to the ENCA Weather Center where we are busy tracking a major winter system which has just slammed into the western parts of the country. Here's a quick look at a most recent satellite picture taken this afternoon across uh, southern Africa. What we are actually looking at here is a cold front which has just hit the west coast of the country and zooming in further you can see the cloud that has just amassed over the southwestern parts of the country including over Cape Town where we already have rainfall and temperatures this afternoon were significantly lower compared to what we've been seeing lately. Now here's a conceptual view of how the cold front is going to be moving across the country throughout Tuesday up to Friday. It's dragging behind it quite a lot of cold air which is going to be affecting the western half of the country by Wednesday afternoon. The eastern half of the country will stay fairly warm. However, as we get to Friday, the cold front is going to be cutting across the northwest, Gauteng, Pumalanga and KwaZulu-Natal and those areas will also start to feel the pinch of the cold front. Now accordingly the South African Weather Service has issued a warning for heavy rains for Wednesday and Thursday. We could see rainfall amounts reaching and exceeding 50 millimeters in 24 hours over the southern parts of the Western Cape. A warning is also in place for snowfalls which could be significant especially over the southern parts of the Northern Cape and the highlying areas of the Western Cape. Here's a look at the 48-hour rainfall accumulation map over the southern parts of South Africa. Rainfall amounts are projected to range from 50 to 80 millimeters, particularly over the overbeck areas of the Western Cape. Snow-wise, snowfalls are expected between the Pau and Hooster areas around Sutherland to the north and south of Beaufort West. We could see snowfalls in the vicinity of the main highways across the Western Cape, that is the N1, the N2, as well as parts of the N7. So for those who are going to be around the Western Cape in the next 48 or so hours, you might need to exercise a lot of caution, especially when driving on the wet roads.